Hey guys, and welcome to Torbash Fight Review Episode 6. Today we're going to be reviewing six of your replays that you can send to in the link in the description. Send one replay per post, otherwise I'm just going to download the first one because we don't want too many of just one person throughout the whole video. we got got to have like lots of different people. Let's get into it, boys. Let's get into it. First, we've got Ahmed versus Nikotsu. Ahmed taking the win by putting his opponent outside the ring on his knees here, I believe. Damn, dude. Boom. So let's see what happens here. Looks like some fractured shoulder comes in on Ahmed's side, putting his opponent out there. What did this lead to? So he's holding his opponent's foot there. His opponent tries something, but ends up flipping all the way around him. Let's see this in slow motion, how this happens here. So his opponent's here. Try to kick him. Nikotsu try to kick him, and Ahmed grabs his foot. Got his other hand to grab here. Got him in a really horrible position. Nikotsu manages to get a foot down here for some balance, but Ahmed changes us quickly by, by letting go that grab of the foot there, and Ahmed just raises his arms for the wrong decision, losing that balance there. His foot is barely retaining balance here, but he brings it back down where Ahmed actually goes up for a little bit, but Nikotsu makes a wrong decision here and gets grabbed on the head and somehow does some weird shit with his legs that he ends up flying over his opponent in such a way. And however that happened, I mean, Ahmed is either a god at like lifting someone over like this, and then he just basically puts Nikotsu on his feet outside the ring for an easy disqualification and a win for his name. That's actually pretty interesting. I want to watch that end part again there. Let's watch this end part. No, wait, no, 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 wait. I want to watch this part here. Here, look here. Look at this here. So he lands here. What decision does he make? Is it because he raised his arms? What does he do here? Oh god, you know why he, he lost? It's probably because he kicked out this leg. Him kicking out this leg raised himself up. And once he raised himself up, this Ame is pulling him here from his head and he raised himself up, giving just the necessary amount of pressure for Ame to just lift him with that extra momentum that he gave him to just throw him outside the ring like this. Boom. So he basically kicked at the place where he was supposed to actually keep his knee on hold. Rip, dude. Rip. That feels bad, man. Kate versus Diamond in our next fight here. Oof. Diamond on the edge there. Looks like... So lift there. Diamond brings himself back in from a huge lift there. Just look at this. He pulls himself back in. <laughs> this is a diamond move to do, dude. How do you... How? What? Look at that. He gets, like, lifted and then boom. Like, he just comes back. He's like, eh, no, nah, I don't feel like flying out to the ring. You know, like... This is literally how I feel when someone lifts me. So his opponent grabs him. Hikata grabs him immediately. Goes for the quick push of lift. That lift of the power. Let's go with one hand. Diamond is loose now with one hand here. He can easily uh, just bring in his arm here. But he decides to just go for the wrist. He goes for the wrist. That's interesting. Brings in his other arm here to land. Brings in his legs at a weird angle. Knees in and arc back all like bent. Throwing his opponent's arm out the ring with that momentum there, dude. Wow. Actually... That's actually really insane. Look at this. Look at this, dude. Look at this. Like, literally. He's trying to throw him with all that pressure there. <coughs> and it's just not working. He can't raise his arm anymore. He just pulls him out of the ring, dude. That is actually... I'm, I'm very curious about something there. Look here how... From this point onwards, it looks like Hakate does nothing. It looks like he's just hold all. It looks like, it looks like he's hold all the whole way till the edge of the ring there. Did he AFK? Like, did he just AFK at that point there? Like he knew he was going to win, he just afk and let Diamond have the rules? It looks like he didn't make any single move there. Actually, towards the end, from like frame 400 from there onwards, it looks like he did nothing. Okay. Maybe that's why he lost, because he could have maybe have... I'm thinking that, like, from this angle here, he actually could have just, you know, brought this pick back in there, and maybe uh, from seeing that uh, Diamond's going to land this, he should have actually brought his arm back in and away, because he's landing upside down. That's not a good place to land on the edge of the ring. So I'm getting hectic vibes that he went AFK from this point onwards, and that he got thrown out like that. Okay. So it looks like an AFK throw -out. Okay. Very interesting. Let's see, we got Fish Ak Ashka versus Mitch. A decap happens, and looks like... I don't know who gets decapped here. It depends who wins. Okay, so that dude gets decapped. Okay, so the decap dude is the one who loses. Because decaps on the edge of the ring. So Mitch decaps Fish Aku right on the edge of the ring there. Just boof. Yeah, let's have a look in slow motion so we can better 
see what is happening here. So we're starting here. Looks like this dude here, Fish, has got his elbow and his wrist fractured right from the get-go from Mitch hitting him right in the back end of that elbow. This dude lifting him up, pushing him towards the edge of the ring here. Mitch bringing his arm down, they're trying to grab him. Ends up fracturing his own right hip uh, that he's that is being grabbed at the same time that Fish has him. Looks like Fish is going to bring him down here. Mitch is going to raise his arm, and this is probably where he does it. He's going to bring this arm back down in again. Perfect angle, going to bring it in. Bam, brings the, the elbow in there, hits the back of the neck. Right placement, right amount of power, and bam, decap comes in. The head goes flying off. This dude is trying to go for it. He's trying to. He makes a save inside the ring, just barely, but the head hits the floor there anyway. He tried, dude. He tried. It was a worthy attempt. It really was. He almost had it. Like he actually saved it with his leg there. I'm impressed. But still, dude, you got, you got decap, bro. You got decap, and this, this is the thumbnail for for this week's episode. Rip, dude. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Okay, we're gonna just do this. Hops HUD quick. We're taking the thumbnail picture and we bring the HUD back and click double escape and then we go. Let's let's see the next replay. <laughs> oh, that, that loft is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's creepy as fuck, dude. Okay. Come on, let's play the replay, bro. We've got Prefect Deity and Scandalf. <laughs> Scandalf. Someone got split. Scandalf is now two of two people that he was once before. Gets kicked and then ripped in half with a fractured abs. The lumbar breaks off. He has a fractured wrist at the same time as well there. How does that happen, bro? Trying to save there. Trying to go for a decap to save himself. Let's have a look there in slow motion. So... Prefect DT gets grabbed in the face, let go, punch, he grabs his opponent immediately in the side there at the abs. His opponent is sheer scandal of just bouncing his arm off of his head there. That grab is still in place there. This is where Prefect DT is going to lift him up, put him over himself there. I, 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 I wonder what his thought process was here. Maybe he was trying to lift him or bring in a kick. Looks like he's trying to go for the kick here. Brings in the kick, doesn't get anything with the kick on that attempt there. He's still holding on to... No, he's actually not holding on. He actually just let go of the, the, the lower abodement there. Brings the potty down. With a grab there, he rips the torso right off of the abs. Like, just like... Like, freaking brutality, dude. With even fracturing the abs. Almost hitting the ground there. He basically raises his arms off the floor, fractures his opponent's elbow, and throws his torso at the floor for the win of the gods, dude. That is good stuff, man. That's some good stuff. Sweet, dude. Oof, that rip, though. That rip. That ripping off though, bro. Oof. Just he just like ripped him, dude. He just like held his legs in place there and then like ripped that torso off. Boof! Get smacked, dude. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Fight review, con con boy. Let's go. It's John versus Najas. What is happening here? Lots of fractures on Najas right over there. John just destroyed Najas, dude. Holy fuck. Esports. What the fuck? Fractures, 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 and bam. John just just let Najas fracture himself to death. Just every single move he did just got fractured, bro. Okay, wait. I'm gonna play this in a slower speed. So it looks like they both open up with grabs there, both grabbing each other. Nature's getting the kick there, dismembering the elbow of his opponent, John, and kind of just trying to hit him in the face with it. At some point here, uh, Nature's brings in the leg there, but lands at an awkward angle, fracturing the glute and the hip and his chest at the same time. Everything that hit John at that moment just died, dude. It just died immediately as it touched him. It cried, it, it ended, it was game over. Natas goes for a decap, but unfortunately he only gets a fractured neck, meaning that he cannot break that head off. That is a problem. If he had gotten that decap, he would have been extremely lucky, and he probably would have won the fight. But because it is at frack, John is still in the good here. His wrist there in a very nice place against his own head. And Natas just struggling with all these fractures there. He's just traded a like a freaking fractured peck there. And he's just been put down at an awkward angle where he has to use that hip, and he can't. And it hit the ground, and John has taken the win. Dude. Wow, okay. Okay. That is intense, bro. That's intense, dude. Nice. 
Nice, dude. That is a freaking, freaking cool fight, man. I, I feel like Nate just tried everything he could. But that fracture, when that fracture on that neck didn't happen, it was game over, man. Especially that angle, like he's falling on the fractured hip and the fractured glute. Like, missing a torso, I mean, a chest as well. There's just, he can't turn. Like, any weight on him, he's, he's screwed, dude. I mean, actually... Let's see. I think if he had lowered this arm over here, if he had lowered this arm and maybe brought this pec to like extending to, to the, like the back and he brought in the abs, he might have been able to actually pivot off of this, this arm and bring this leg down in front of him here to avoid the this hip hitting the ground. But in, because he didn't, the arm just kind of, you know, it just, it just fell. And John obviously went for the weight, pushed all of his weight there on top of him, and he just, just hit the floor and disqualified. He should have actually raised his arm to bring himself back up and, you know, put that foot down on the ground so he can at least pivot off of two points of his body. At this stage, he was trying to go for just the leg, and the arm failed. Rip, dude. Rip. And that is episode six of Tori Bash Fight Review. Bruh. Thanks for watching, dudes. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and you'll see episode 7 coming soon. Thanks for watching, dudes.